so got a ton of new things to cover you can see that this whole area is completely developed essentially now which is really cool so I'll just show you um, we also have these lovely doors that are actually working now so they're all set and working which is great um, more focusing on design aspect now so we have a flip-flop function that opens the door gets the rotation so it goes for about 0 0.70 and it goes from 0 to 1 it, it is a door float <coughs> so it's the exact same for this one but the difference is this is a separate custom event so this is open door 2 and door open 2 um, it opens minus 90 so that the secondary door can open so it's just door underscore L1 um, all this is the exact same so no changes with this as of yet so first off with the all brightness I brought it down from about 100 down to 50 <coughs> but now our controls menu has been edited as well so I added this nice little blue because it makes it easier to see the writing but things that I've changed with this lean left and lean right so they're not strafing left and right anymore it's just leaning left and right um, I also added interact which is C pause which is P in escape <coughs> We have red vision over here for R, um, and open closed door is X. So very simple, um, not many changes with this, but it's more visually appealing. So I'll just close off all of these. Um, so I've started organizing these a bit more. So we're going to, of course, get that red vision up and running, but for the time being, we have open closed door so it collects the first person camera gets the world location and that's the start and for the end so forward vector which is 3000 and that's there so gets the world location and ends um, with the out hit it creates a break hit result the tag is door so we actually added a tag for our door which I'll show you soon um, if the branch is true then it creates another branch which then creates a sequence so that sequence cast to door L1 and then door L so it registers that both of them are there this is just a way to have them running at the same time so with this all I did was I went to tags and added a new tag and called it door um, with this though so this is just the basic template that you get which I've added a smooth stone look to it and I added the same to the door with some wood in the middle so now for the level I have actually added a new folder which I have called audio which we have welcome fixed so the first one didn't work that's why that one's welcome fixed but we have our European beach as well as the MS Forest Tut which you will see shortly so you can see this area is like nice and pretty now I've just thrown in some textures and everything has had some subtle if not interesting changes um, even this little area added some lights here and then we got this little block off area just because um, and then there's this zone which you'll see shortly so if I press start just to show now this area is purely for testing welcome analysis. to the game please see the settings by pressing escape to understand the controls so there's some cool little audio now um, the flashlight's still the same, but you notice we have these doors and our little bug is fixed. So now it won't stuff up, which is really good. But if we press X at the doors, we can open them. You can't push through this frame. 
I've deliberately said it like that because it makes it more annoying. Um, we got this nice lovely texture though, as you can see. Um, so X is to open doors. Going to have another door there. I did have plates here, but I'm not sure where the plates have gone. So if you can still pick it up and let's just so it's not too overpowered, but it's not too weak either. And you can not go through here, which is all deliberate. So I'll work out exactly, oh, actually here is a plate here. So there is a new little bug that's quite interesting. So if you actually, once that goes back, it's probably gonna go in the water and kill me. Let's hope it does not. Oh well. Well, I'll show this next spot just so you can see. So a few more of the things are interactable now. Of course you can go across this nice lovely bridge. And there's this new zone. So I'm not quite sure where our lights are. Um, I may have to add them back in, but you can't push through here either. So that is deliberate. But we've got this nice little temple sort of zone. And I'll just go back just to show a bit more. So this one's going to be a bit longer because <coughs> there's a lot more content to show, which is amazing. So I can set these to have a delay and then close themselves, which I might actually set up at some point. So just open here and we got this nice little zone now. So that light's blocking off, which we'll need to adjust. But you can do this cool little bug where you can essentially lift yourself up. So if I, it's a very interesting bug. Um, we've got this nice little zone, these little wall bits. And you can see all of this. So we should be dying, not sure why it's not dying, that's just, of course, yet a new bug. So there's always new bugs to encounter. Um, you can see this lovely little area that I've created. So I'll just go up this ramp. That was very strange, there was something blocking me. Oh, so close to making it. It's almost like there's an invisible collision. So we can actually play around with this one. But I'll just go back to the main menu. So you can see there's a slight bug here now, but that's fine. Welcome to the game. Please see the settings by pressing escape to understand the controls. Secret zone. So this is a brand new zone. We have our little dark room, which of course you can pull out your flash to see better in. So it's just an empty wasteland at the moment, but there will be things chucked in here later on. So 
you can see this zone is a bit more explorative. This is just a dead end. We can actually see through there as well. So don't worry, that is deliberate. So we can check out this little zone as well. And of course, there is more rooms. We've got another lovely room here as well. So all this has been <coughs> graciously added in, but there is a new thing as well, which I would like to show, which is our forest. So I worked out the generative fill thing and I've set up all of these trees so that you would have to go through this zone essentially. It's got some, whoops. I'll just slow it right down. Just so when I go down to the grass, you can actually see some very nice quality. And we got these lovely trees. Which are also very nice. So, as you can see, it does get a little buggy when all of them are selected, but if they're not selected, it's a nice little run through. So, you'll be able to run through this whole area. So, I will be setting up a whole another zone just so you can go in the test level, but also check out this nice little forest level as it's being built. So it's a full forest zone that's going to have a skinwalker which is going to kill you. So you would want to make it to the castle. But that is essentially it. We do have of course our new overlap which is event begin play, play sound at location, has a delay and then destroys the actor. So it doesn't keep playing on a loop. Um, with this, of course, we'll need to work out where the bug is going on, just to correct it. But for now, we do have this nice little area that we can get working. So, can work out why the trigger box is not working. And once we work that out, it will make it even more fun to play with. So many, many things coming into this, uh, many, many things getting taken out, but that is all. Mm -hmm.